Our next guest is Royal Editor for the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers. Russell, great to have you back with us. Uh, the royals are constantly in the press and there's no shortage of royal gossip, but I always really enjoy recounts of people who have actually worked with the royals. And this week, royal portrait artist Nikki Phillips was interviewed. She had some excellent observations to make about the family. Well, she did. Great to see you again, Caroline. And, I, you know, I do love this when we get sort of a, a, a window into the world of the royals. It's very, very rare that you get people who worked with them who really speak out publicly. And uh, Nikki Phillips, who have, you know, met many of the royals and uh, sat them down for portraits, talked about how difficult they were to work with. And uh, you know, not a slight on their characters, but saying the late Queen was fidgety when she was trying to get her to concentrate. And you can imagine what it's like sitting for one of those portraits, trying to stay still for many, many hours. You know, fallouts between Harry and William. I think it was Harry saying that William had a bit too much hair up top. Um, he hadn't been painted uh, true to life. Kate had brought in some chaotic spaniel when she was trying to get her to sit down. And Anne was all sort of in a tiz when she was trying to do hers. And what it, this tells you, I think, is that the royal family are pretty normal, you know, most of the time. They're just like us. I mean, it, it does seem pretty strange when they're living in castles and palaces and, you know, driven around in Bentleys. But when they're asked to do something like that, if you've ever had a family photograph that uh, is taking a bit too long at a family gathering, you know, we can all understand about these, uh, these instances that go on with people's characters, and I found it most amusing. Now, the Wales family visited uh, the RAF Fairfield uh, in Gloucestershire yesterday. Anyway, here's Prince Louis at his best. We, we, never, we never miss an opportunity for a grab of Prince Louis. And Prince George as well. He got in on the action. Russell, do you know what I always love about these outings when the family is out together is how they all get amongst it. Oh, totally. I mean, you know, the rain was pouring down in uh, in Fairfield. It was the military tattoo taking place, a bit of a last minute uh, trip for the Waleses, but a family affair, certainly. And what was particularly poignant was that aircraft that you saw there was the aircraft that was used to bring the late Queen's body back to England from Scotland. So, you know, particularly emotional, I'm sure, for the family, whether the, the children sort of really understood the sort of enormity of what they were doing. But when you see them, they're certainly being prepared for royal life, aren't they? And whether they will be sort of doing uh, full-time engagements remains to be seen. But I think that whenever we've seen them, and we are seeing them a bit more recently, certainly after the late Queen's death, the King's coronation, they're certainly very, very adept to different situations. And, uh, and I think they'll be a super, super addition to the royal family.